Greetings, people of the internet. It is Friday night. Yeah, we dance on tabletops. Now, I do not spend my Friday nights dancing on tabletops. No, I do not. I, I am spending it here preparing for this weekend. So what's gonna happen this weekend? Tomorrow I have callbacks for a, a musical that I auditioned for. And after that, I'm getting a silk press. It's been five months since I've had a silk press and since I've gotten a trim. So I'm definitely excited. It's always fun to like get a silk press and like do something different. Um, I just always want to emphasize though that like getting a silk press and stuff, it's not like I love a silk press more than I love my curls. I absolutely love my curls and I wear my curly hair. I don't know what the percentage is. It feels like pretty, like 99% of the time, like of the whole year, 99% of the whole year, um, I'm wearing my curls. And so you you guys know, it's just, it's fun to try some, to it's fun to switch it up and try something different. Now there are some haters with a Z. There are haters who are like, oh, why are you just gonna like, why they don't understand like women who get silk presses like and just wear it straight or whatever like why don't you put a curl in it why don't you like style it or whatever i'm like Lumba, honey honey look at look at this when you get a silk press you can style it how you want to and when i get a silk press which is max three times a year if i just want to wear it straight down my back for as long as it lasts then that's what i'm gonna darn well do okay Especially because, as I've said before, my silk presses usually last like two weeks, two and a half weeks max. Um, at some point, they start to look really like greasy and just, I just be looking disheveled and a crusty mess and I'm just itching to get my curls back. So, but it has been five months and I just, I want to get a silk press and I, I want to trim my ends. I think I have commented it before. I don't know if I've said it in an actual video before, but... I only trim my hair when I get a silk press. So max three times a year. I do not trim it myself. Um, I would not trust myself to do that. <laughs> and I don't go and get it trimmed every six weeks like I'm always told. <laughs> I'm always told and I ask, oh, I have mentioned that before. Like I always ask like the stylist, you know, the stylist doing my hair like, well, how often should like I get, you know, get a trim and she's like six weeks, every six weeks. And then I don't come back for like three or four months. <laughs> so um, that's just how I do it. And honestly, honestly, you know, I listen to other women's videos too about like their hair growth journey and everything. And a lot of women who have like, they've broken through the growth plateau and their hair has like really achieved like great lengths and stuff a lot of them do not trim their hair every six weeks because you know especially because i don't know i feel like it's one thing if your hair is like damaged to trim it every six weeks but i feel like if you're really taking care of your hair obviously i can't speak for everybody so i don't want anyone in the comments to be like oh well your hair is blah 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 your hair is this that the third and you don't you know everybody's hair is different but i personally feel like if you're taking care of your hair you know, in order to like grow it and retain the length and everything that, you know, it shouldn't be so damaged every six weeks that you need to get it trimmed. It's just, it's just not necessary. I've never ever been someone to get trims every six weeks. I get trims max three times a year. So if you're not seeing like the length retention stuff that you really want and you get trims like every six weeks or every month or something, maybe try to not get them so often. And, um, just do protective styling for, you know, months at a time and then get a silk press quarterly. You know what I mean? Get a silk press quarterly, get your, tri get your ends trimmed then and just, you know, just, it's gotta be frustrating to do all this work, feel like you're doing all these things to like grow your hair and everything and then it just gets snipped away every six weeks. I just, the math is not mathing. It just, it just doesn't make sense to me. But um, anyway, so, okay. That's enough rambling. So tonight is Friday night. And um, so the night before I've obviously got to prepare. I would never, ever, ever go get my hair done at a salon without prepping it the night before. You know, I, I'm, I'm sure people just go right into the salon. They haven't done anything to their hair, but no, I do. A, I've got a night before silk press regimen, which I do every single time. And so 
um, if you're interested in seeing that. And also this video, this is gonna be one, just the whole process. So tonight I'm gonna show you how I prepare my hair for the silk press. And then tomorrow I'm actually gonna take you to the salon. I have spoken with the lovely stylist who's gonna be doing my hair tomorrow. I've spoken with her and she's cool with me like, you know, taking like some videos and stuff like that in real time. So, so this will be fun. So then, and then I'll show you the result afterwards and everything. Um, and also if I learn anything new from her because I remember last time I saw her, she really educated me. Let's go ahead and get started. time in the shower I know it's not just me I know it's not just me who has like some of your best thoughts and ideas like while you're in the shower and knowing me <laughs> if I didn't say it right now I might likely forget what I want to say so things I wanted to add it's important to have a night before silk press like regimen instead of just because you might be like or someone might be like why are you doing all this when they're gonna like wash your hair and comb it out and detangle and all that at the salon but the thing is you got to be your you got to be your own hair advocate your own number one your number one hair advocate you know your hair better than anybody else okay and um you know obviously there are some really great stylists um who really will take the time to like detangle your hair like gently and well and not just like rip things out but sometimes you just you just don't know and they might and so um you know they might be busy or what or whatever you know how like the night before i think it's good to just you know get as many of the tangles out as possible yourself in a gentle fashion the way that you usually do it on your own wash days because if i would have just gone in tomorrow like it would have been more work and possibly more, like damage and stuff that you know that could happen tomorrow because i went in with my hair just very tangled. I think that that is very important before you ever go get your hair done by somebody else um, to really prep it well before you go um, so that when they do do your hair, that when the stylist does your hair the next day, they don't have to do that much detangling, if that makes sense. This is my normal detangling process. Um, it's best to start at your ends. Obviously the oldest part of your hair. I'm gonna definitely get some of this snipped off tomorrow. I know that's for sure. I definitely have, you know, you gotta get your ends trimmed, okay? Even no matter no matter how healthy your hair is, no matter how much you take care of it, you do need to get it trimmed, I feel like at least a you know, at least a few times a year. Every six weeks is too much in my opinion, but but a few times a year you should get it trimmed. So I know I'm gonna have to get it trimmed. So as you can see, brushing through the ends of my hair, detangling the ends of my hair, it takes more work than the rest of it because there are some, you know, some split ends after five months, right? All right, that's enough of me talking in the shower. I'm about ready to go get my silk press. My appointment is in like, well, my appointment is in like an hour. I'm gonna leave in like 30 minutes. Um, I hope that you can hear me. Can you hear me? If you can't hear me, let me know. Like this is alive or something. I'm, I'm trying to dry some clothes before I leave. Eating my favorite cereal on planet Earth. Vanilla almond crunch cereal from Trader Joe's. Okay, I'm gonna finish this cereal off camera so that I don't have to eat delicate delicately meet you in the salon
definitely happy with how it came out. Um, I got a trim, okay? Um, I got a trim. I only trim my hair uh, when I get a silk press. This is my first silk press in five months, so it was like the end of August. Um, I had not had a trim since then, and so she did trim off a little at the end. And um, I think it turned out really, really well. This will last for a few weeks. It was a really, really good day. The sun has gone down now. Um, I feel like the day has flown by. It was, it was, sorry, let me, I'm trying to sit up straight. I'm trying to sit up straight. I always think of that quote from my Carly. You won't get respect if your back's not erect. <laughs> I'm trying to like be straighter, but then I also like, I don't know, I like hunching over to just to sit. It's just a little more comfortable. Anyways, it was a really good day. I had a lot of fun at the callbacks. Um, we'll see if I, you know, we'll see if I get cast or not, but I had a really good time. My stylist is the most amazing hairstylist I've ever, ever had. The wash, oh, that wash felt so good. She uses like this peppermint stuff that smells so good. And it just, I could just feel my scalp tingling. It was like the portals of my scalp was just opening and the goodness was just getting soaked in. Oh, it was, oof. Oh, I should find, I should see if I can find a shampoo like that because oh my gosh every time I go see her and she does that for me mm -mm -mm -mm, I almost fell asleep she because I, I was like are you okay if I like do a little recording while I do this and everything I want to respect people's privacy and everything and she was totally cool with it and um and she was like she was like you're missing <laughs> she was like you're missing opportunities that you could be videotaping because legit y'all i was like falling asleep because oh, it felt so good her hands are blessed actually the tagline of their of that salon is our hands are blessed and their hands are blessed her hands are blessed you could see her throughout the video and um actually when i look if my face looks like really intense and like deep in thought or like like things like that it's because we were having some deep conversations okay i definitely muted the sound and stuff like that but we were talking about like some deep stuff and we just i don't know we just have like so much in common and like it turns out like she's vegan she's about to become like raw vegan she's a real one that's my girl so uh it was a good evening and now i've got ethiopian food so she and i even discovered that we both go to the, the same ethiopian place she said she goes once a week I don't go that often, but when I do, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, these are lentils, like yellow lentils. And this is the bread that Ethiopian people eat in injera. I I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Y'all know what I mean? <laughs> um, hashtag uncultured. All right, and then here we go. I just, I don't know. I don't want to say it wrong, but yes, this is called fasalia. Again, sorry, the beautiful Ethiopian people for butchering your scrumptious food, but this is called fasalia. It's like green beans mixed with like, I think they're carrots. That's so good. And then cabbage with potatoes like in it. And just oh, the spices. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing. So what's this thing? I'm about to go in. Okay. I'm about to go in like my fingers and everything because nobody in here judging me okay but um yeah also i mentioned in my last video that i'm gonna make a q a and i, I have gotten some questions from some lovely subscribers so um if you have any questions for me i really would love to answer them and everything so uh feel free to comment it down below or send me an email and um and hopefully i'll be able to answer your question in that q a video i want to hear from you that's right you dun dun soldier boy tell him i got in a dance for y'all it's called a soldier boy that is the quarterly silk press video <laughs> okay y'all this is like a quarterly thing for me i talked about trimming how often to trim your hair i showed you the process and i showed you the results so i think that's everything i think that's everything all right stay unique stay beautiful and don't forget to be kind to yourself okay goodbye Oh, oh.